Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing a what's in my backpack for freshman year. I'm going to be going into ninth grade this year. I'm really excited to be going into high school. I was so ready to be done with middle school. And now I'm going to show you my backpack. I'm also accompanied by my little baby. So yeah, this is my backpack for high school. It is the Love Rook backpack. Um, I got it on Amazon. It has a lot of pockets, so it's a lot of storage, but the main ones I'm gonna be using are these two big pockets and this little pocket. So let's just jump into it. Let me show you this water bottle that I got. It is the Life is Good purple water bottle. So yeah, I got it for my birthday and I really like it. I love the life is good water bottles they're really durable and nice but the last one that i had from middle school it was on its last leg so i need to get a new one it's broke one so let's just jump in move this to make this side so in this front pocket we have my card box most of these are leftover cards from last year because i didn't really use them that much but this year i'm going to need them more so using this card box that I used last year to hold all my index cards. So yeah. And next, we have my pencil pouch. This, I was actually supposed to use this last year, but the other pencil bags that I got, um, they lasted a lot longer than I thought they would, so I didn't end up needing it. So this year I decided to use it because it's still adorable, so let's open it up. The first pocket here, we have my pencils and stuff. So this year, my mom got me these three pack of mechanical pencils. Um, if you know me, then you know that I am a lover of just regular old pencils. I am not a mechanical pencil user. But she got me these for, these birth for my birthday, and they are adorable. Look at them. They're so cute, and I love cute school supplies, so these are right up my alley. They are from the brand Noted really adorable i'm probably going to be using these throughout the year most of the time but just in case i got another pack of regular pencils that i typically use um and i put one of them in my pencil pouch and the rest i have is in like a drawer so cute floral ones so then we have sharpie i feel like you need sharpies for just the most random things at the most random times it's just always good to get to get a new one each year because i used basically all of my other sharpies so i need some new ones so let's just move it up into my pencil bag and finally in this pouch i have some just regular old stickers you never know when these will come in handy and now let's do the middle pouch this one's pretty stuffy so first i have all of my mild liner pens love taking aesthetic notes these are literally perfect i used these last year they're still going very strong i even have some duplicates if any of them decide to die on me but these are literally the best for note taking if you want to take aesthetic pretty notes which i do so these are just be so helpful and next i have these two black pilot g2 point z point seven black pens. I think these are the best pens. They're so durable. They're so nice. The Pilot G's are just literally the best pens. I get them every year. And I also got these same pens in blue and red. So, and finally, I have these three Expo markers. They wanted us to get dry erase markers, so I just got these new pack of Expos. Not all these stuff in the middle pouch. Finally, the last pouch. This one I just kind of have random stuff in. So I got this little portable pencil sharpener from Ticonderoga. I got this at Target. I had one of these last year, and they're so helpful, you guys. If you're like me and you're not a mechanical pencil user, these are literally the best. Because a lot of times, you just don't have pencil sharpeners because everyone uses mechanical pencils now. So it's always good to have a portable one. Well, this year I'm still gonna be I'm gonna be using mechanical pencils a lot more. It's still really good to have these for my regular pencils and for the standardized testing. 
And next we have this little glue stick. Always good to have these. And this year, I have the tape whiteout. I learned from my mistakes. The liquid whiteout is so much worse, you guys. I, I already tried this out on my summer homework. Literally amazing. Like, it's so much better than the, the, the liquid version. I don't know why I've been using liquid whiteout for the past several years. The tape version is so much better. So yeah, really, really helpful for and finally, I just have some 0.7 lead for my new mechanical pencils. So that's all that's in my pencil pouch. Next, let's move on to the other things in my bag. First and foremost, I have my accordion folder. Our school's a bit special. Um, in middle school, they had us use accordion folders. They did not allow us to use binders except for specific classes. In high school, you're allowed to pick whether you want binders or folders or accordion folder. And I actually really love accordion folders. I have been conditioned to love these. And I actually found this really cute one by U Brands. Uh, I got it from Target when we went school supply shopping. It's adorable. I love this one. So much better than one, my one last year. And inside has so 13 pocket. There's 13 pocket for all my different classes. And I have some graph paper and line paper. So that is my accordion folder. And next, we have all of my notebooks. So this is just a good old five-star notebook. Uh, it has this really cute design. My mom got this last year, but I didn't end up needing it. But it's really adorable, so I think I'm going to use this for humanities. I'm trying to figure out where I put all my stuff. Next, we have this, another five-star notebook that I also didn't end up using from last year. I think I'm going to use this for science, if they allow me to use this federal notebook. Um, but yeah, really cute design. Next, we have this uh, graph paper notebook for math. Uh, they require us to have our graph paper, so I just got a regular one. I'm probably going to end up putting some stickers or something on this to make it a little more custom. But... Next, my mom got this on Prime Day on Amazon. It is so adorable, you guys. Look at how cute it is. This is the other option that I might use for science. I'm really not sure. It just depends on how many notes I'm going to take. But look how adorable. So cute. This is more of an extra notebook. But it's really cute. And my mom got it for me, I think, at like Target or something. I don't really remember. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. Just kind of an extra notebook in case I need it. And final notebook. My mom got this on Amazon. It's just a composition notebook in case they, my teachers don't want a spiral notebook. But yeah, this is a really cute one. I like this one. And that's all my notebooks. Next up, we have my planner. Oh my gosh, I love this planner so much. It's so adorable with all the flowers and plants. And I love this. I got this, got this for my birthday. Um, it's really, really cute. Let me show you the inside. It has this little tag thing, but inside looks like this. Place to put all your homework, place to put notes, to-dos, and some other stuff. So yeah, I love this planner so much. I'm so excited to use it. And the last thing I have in the big folder is my Bible. Uh, this is just an ESB Bible that I use for school. And that is all in my big folder. Go to this smaller big pocket. This it's kind of really full right now, so it's hard to get out. But this is where I have my laptop. Um, I keep it in my laptop case because they don't allow us to carry backpacks around, so I can't really use the laptop case in this backpack. But I'm just gonna use this pocket to put my laptop in so that it doesn't get any damage at all. So I just open nice and good. Okay, and those are the two. Big pockets. Now let's go to the small one. First, I just have this ruler in here, this nice acrylic ruler. Second, I have the. Where is it? This calculator. I got a new calculator this year. It's the TI 30XIIS. Um, yeah, this is just kind of like a standard calculator that you get. There. So 
this is just the Texas Instrument one, kind of just a typical one I got in blue. And lastly, I have a protractor, because I am going to be taking geometry this year, and we needed a protractor. That's why I have this. And that is everything in the smaller pocket. Now, let's go to the smallest pocket. So here is just my emergency pouch. Um, I forgot where my mom got this bag, but she got it for me, so I'm going to use it as my emergency pouch. So basically in here I just have some feminine products. Um, I have this mini Dove deodorant. Probably going to mainly use this for sports, but it's still helpful to have in school too. And two elastic bands. These are always helpful. <laughs> And that's really it in my emergency pouch. Don't really have much in here, but it's still really important to have one of these. And I have my wallet. Uh, it's always good to have a wallet. There's some cash in your backpack. And just some cash, a couple dollars. Uh, I don't know why I have a $20 bill in there, but I'm, I'll probably take that out. Because I only really need a couple bucks in here. And I have this little pouch, and in here I just have some eraser caps, because I don't like bringing a whole other eraser, I really like using eraser caps, so these are just some extras that I had. And finally, we have some chapstick. I'll probably just keep this in my pocket, maybe most of the time, up with my water bottle too, but it's always good to have chapstick, especially here where it's so dry, you need chapstick. And that is everything in this little pocket. And finally, we have some post-it notes that I just keep on the side of my backpack. These are always good. I have this little pad of lined post-its, some orange post-its, some pink post-its, and some blue ones. Always got to have these around. And that is everything in this backpack. I'll also show you my lunch. This is my lunch. This is kind of a typical lunchbox. Got this on Amazon too. But that is that concludes my what's in my backpack video for ninth grade. I hope you guys like this video. I'm actually starting school tomorrow, so I kind of filmed this last video a little bit late. But I hope you really like this video. Hope you guys have a wonderful start to your school year, and I will see you guys in a new video soon. Also, sorry about the lighting. It's really harsh and bright right now, I know. I'm thinking of changing my light bulbs because I really do not like this warm, orangey sort of lighting. I want the cool light bulbs, so I might ask my dad to get that like Home Depot or something. So yeah, just want to say sorry about the lighting. <laughs>